Multimedia. My name is Natish Kulubakoli, and today we're going to be learning about 10 as a factor. Objective. Today we are going to learn about 10 as a factor. Let's get started. Problem set 1. 10 times 2. Let's start off with that. 10 times 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, and 0 times 2 is 0, so the answer would be 20. Uh, Let's erase that. So that done. Let's do 5 times 10. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 0 is 0. And we get 50. 20 and 50. Let's try 10 times 8 for a change. 1 times 8. 8. 0 times 8. Zero, and you have yourself 80. Two times eight. Two times eight, eight, and then 16. The answer would be 16. $10 times six. You can just do 10 times six, but you need to add the dollar sign later. Uh, so six times one is six, and six times zero is zero. So $60. Uh, let's erase some of that. Let's free up some space. And let's continue. 7 times 5. 7 times 5 is 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. The answer is 35. $10 times 4. 10 times 4, but you need to add the dollar sign at the end. 1 times 4 is 4. F 0 times 4 is 0. And $40. 40 times 2. 9, 18. 18. The answer is 18. And 8 times 9. We have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72. 72 would be our answer. Moving on, problem two. When you multiply a whole number by 10, what is always true about the ones place in the product? Let's take a look. When we did 10 times two, the ones place ended with a zero. When we did 5 times 10, the 1's place ended with a 0. Same goes for 10 times 8, 10 times 6, ten, and 10 times 4. So the answer would be, when, when, when you multiply a whole number by 10, the 1's place is always a zero. Moving on, problem set three. We have 10 times three. Three times one is three. Three times zero is zero. The answer is 30. Four dollars times five. We know the gist. We have to multiply them add the dollar sign at the end. Four times five. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 20 dollars. 2 times 2. That's kind of easy. It's 4. 10 dollars times 5. Okay. So we know that it's going to end with a 0. 1 times 5 is 5. We have to add the dollar at the end. So it would be 50 dollars. Let's erase some space and continue on. We have two more problems left. Eight times five. We have to add the dollar sign at the end. Eight, sixteen, 
24, 32, and 40. So the answer is $40. Can't forget the dollar sign. 10 times 4, we know that it's going to end with a 0. And 1 times 4 is 4, so 40. 40 is our answer. Uh, let's see here. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when new videos drop. And share this to anyone that might find this useful. Bye!